Judy is a national treasure, and you just want to do right by her and tell her uh, the absolute truth. So I was, I was trying to do that, and her husband, George, was sitting off in the corner. And we had a long conversation, and then we all looked at each other, and then George, who had been monitoring the whole conversation from over there, said, we're doing this, aren't we? And we all hugged, and that's how it started. I think for women, you know, they feel their own individual journey looking at it. They feel their own lives looking at it. It's a picture that will never be out of time. And um, because it is so out of time in such a wonderful way. I think Kelly Freeman Craig has, first of all, one of the, one of the things that writer-directors have. Um, and, and, and it's a tricky thing because you saw a movie in your head as you wrote it. And then as a director, if you're really good, it's a different movie. You get the one you saw, but finally it's a team sport. Finally, that's what movies are supposed to be. And she was great at guiding that process. She's emotional. She laughs, she cries. <laughs> she's totally invested, she's totally present. The most prepared individual in the history of the universe. It's, it's extraordinary. There was nobody else but Kathy. She had her first scene to do. And the first scene was a phone call and then something immediately afterwards, her, her end of a, of a conversation, you know, and she was uncomfortable. And I think there are about four sentences in that phone call that she felt uncomfortable. And then she addressed it and exploded into the character. I mean, four sentences in and we were slack jawed. And then her ability to improvise in the character, it's like a great comedy performance. She's extraordinary. I do think somehow in Hollywood, you always find the kid. How does a kid exist who can do this? You're just fascinated by her work. You're just fascinated by the intelligence. You're fascinated about how much she is at the moment and how prepared she is. And you know, her, her two parents are actors. I think that's part of what's going on. And um, you know, the sense of dedication. Abby was there in the beginning and she'll be there in the end. And she's a different human being as the kid is in the movie just because that age is that precious.